One of the first books I remember reading was Death Comes for the Archbishop by Willa Cather. I grew up in New Mexico. Uh, we'd moved there from the East Coast, and uh, it, it's just such a great story with a lot of the history and, and culture of New Mexico embodied in it. Uh, music was a big part of my growing up, and uh, I played the clarinet. I uh, played it pretty seriously for a while. Uh, played it in youth symphonies and symphonic bands and the like, so just exposure to music. One of the humanities professors I remember uh, was an English professor of mine at Santa Clara when I was a freshman. I'd never analyzed a poem in my life, and he gave us this poem by John Donne, Batter My Heart, and I remember getting my essay back, and I'd worked really hard on it, and I got a D, and I'd never had a D, and I was devastated, and I went back to him and I said, Professor Digna, what do I do? And he said, well, Janet, you can't get an A, but if you work on it, you know, you can raise your grade. I wrote that darn thing six times, um, and he really worked with me on it. And learning how to read a poem, analyze a poem, and then write an essay, uh, those writing skills have served me well uh, ever since. You know, there's such a key connection between the STEM disciplines and, and the humanities. And one of our challenges is to make sure that when our students graduate, uh, they not only have, say, that engineering degree, uh, but they've also gone outside of their um, academic discipline to explore something in, in literature, to know uh, history, uh, to appreciate the plastic arts, the musical arts, the theater arts. Uh, and so we, we try to encourage our students to, to get beyond STEM because they'll, they'll have a, a happier life afterwards. I think in a knowledge of and appreciation of the humanities in general uh, helps contribute to good citizenship. At the governmental level, we need citizens who understand the American historical tradition, who understand uh, the roles of government and how it's established. There's a, there's a relationship in, between the humanities and government at, the, at that fundamental level.